Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Panzo6, and welcome to Let's Talk. Let's Talk is a series where I talk about things that's going on in my life, um, things I find interesting, or, you know, just rambling of sorts. Uh, consider this as a vlog. Um, I guess that's the popular term these days, so we'll consider it as a vlog, but we'll just call it Let's Talk. Uh, you guys may know I already did one of these earlier this week uh, about trolls and haters and fat shamers and all this other stuff and I wanted to go ahead and get this one out because I, I, I you know I spent a lot of time on Reddit Twitter social media like and I keep an eye on a lot of things like movies video games and stuff like that and something's really been bothering me lately and this is in the gaming community, um, <laughs> rather be Magic the Gathering, uh, your Xbox, PC, PlayStation, Wii, mobile, um, and movies. And specifically, I'm talking about the Ghostbusters movie, because you know where this is going to lead. And I know, I know, if you're a feminist... You know, I, I admire your guys' work. I, I, it's cool. It's cool. And feminism is fine. But feminazis take it too far. But I can't say that because I'm a white male and I don't understand, apparently. But anyways, I figure I'd just go ahead and let that out. So, let me go ahead and talk about what's been going on. If you guys have been paying attention uh, to the Magic the Gathering community... Or just gaming community, you'll hear things about Gamergate um, and sexism, which is something recent in Magic the Gathering. And, you know, I, I saw an argument over the weekend, um, and it was from some bigger uh, MTG guys, and it, it kind of made, it made me disgusted. I was really disgusted by it, and I pretty much intervened by pretty much telling these guys, like, hey, let's stop this petty bullshit and let's all get along. You know, I started playing Magic about a year ago, and, you know, I'm not a long-time player. I'm fairly new to this, and as far as I can, I'm concerned, whenever I played at my local shop when I lived in Ohio, there was women playing the game. There was no, like, women would play, and it was just as good as the men or the boys. And no women got shit. Like, they didn't get shit, like, talked down to. Oh, you're stupid because you're a woman. Uh, your brain is really, really small, so you don't understand this. <laughs> and that's not the case. I've not seen that. I've not seen that personally in the Magic the Gathering community. But I'm not saying it doesn't happen. And if it does, it's something it really needs to stop because... It's a game that we can all play. We can all get along and play these games without bickering. It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, transgender, or if you're a fucking furry. It doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun playing the game, hanging out with the people you love, or just meeting new people, why the fuck would it be a problem? I, I don't understand. And... This has been going on. It's, it's been going on for a while. I, I've noticed it coming back and forth. And this is, like I said, it's not just Magic the Gathering. Uh, you see this with the Gamergate quaffle, whatever the fuck that is. And I still, to this day, I don't care about the Gamergate thing. The only thing I care about when it comes to gaming is everybody gets to play the games they love. Doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, child, again, furry. Uh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, black, white, uh, an alien, or transgender. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what religion, what you believe in. It doesn't matter. Basically, gaming to me is a thing where I can get away from all the drama and the bullshit and just hang out with people, talk to people, but love the things I love. You know, I don't want to hop on, you know, Call of Duty. And I hear, you know, the first thing I hear is, you know, derogative name to a black person. I fucked your mom. Uh, you're a girl. Show me your tits. That shit needs to stop. That's, it's retarded. It's really retarded. And, you know, gamers do get a bad rap. It, they really do. It's just, it's a small minority. But, you know, they cause these problems. And it basically gets out of hand. And that's what gets 
reported on it with, with within bigger news outlets like Kotaku, Polygon for Christ's sakes, which you know they love that shit. Polygon or Gawker, whatever the fuck, you know they love to hop on that shit and just stir the fucking pot. They love to do that. They do. They do. They do. And <laughs> you know, I, I I don't I don't care. I you know if you if you're a woman, if you're a man. If you're a furry, if you're a child, and you want to play a video game with people, if you want to get together and enjoy a thing that, you know, a lot of people love, nothing should stop you from doing this. And I understand, you have some hateful motherfuckers out there that just love to tear people apart. You know, if you're a girl, they're going to make fun of you. If you're fat, they're going to make fun of you. If you're gay, they're going to make fun of you. And it's retarded. It really is. It really is. And it's fucking poison. You know, I, I've almost quit gaming in general. Or actually just the internet in general. Because I don't want to deal with this shit. I don't want to log in and see all this hate. All the drama on, on Twitter. It's all trending. <laughs> Go to Yahoo or, you know, whatever search engine. And the first comes up. Uh, and you see. You see headline. Sexist. Sexist. Sexist, Gamergate, whatever. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I hate it. And, you know, I just wish people would grow up. And this kind of translates, too, to a most recent thing, which is the Ghostbusters trailer. It looks like dog shit. It literally does. The, the movie looks like a pile of hot shit. Um, it doesn't look funny. It's not because they're females. These females are in a lot of great movies. Awesome. Very talented. I, I love these people. And, you know, I think, you know, I was fine, you know, whenever they announced this movie originally and said, hey, we're going to have a female cast for the Ghostbusters. We're going to do a shared universe. We're going to split it up. We're going to have a team of male and a team of female Ghostbusters. And they announced some of the casting. I was perfectly fine with that. I love the movies back in the day. I love the comic books. I love the games. Well, not the Nintendo games, but I like the one that came out on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. That was fun. Had all the original cast. And these characters are iconic. These movies, you know, people hate this trailer because it, take, it strips away what everybody loved about the original movies and makes it look so terrible. I mean, it looks bad. But, but here's the thing. If you hate this fucking trailer, if you dislike this trailer, you are a fucking sexist. You should not be judging this movie because you're a sexist white male. And that's what it is. I, I, what was it? It was a Polygon or Gawker I, or uh, shit. The Washington Post, I think. I, I forget what news outlet they had it, had it on, but I read it and... And basically called out all these people. Even J they called out James Rolfe, one angry video game nerd, because he said he refuses to review this movie. A person, a nice person in the gaming industry, the gaming world, I've watched every single one of his videos. I still continue to support him today. And this guy is very passionate about these things. He has nothing, since I have watched him, he has not caused drama. He hasn't said anything remotely sexist. He's been, you know, he's been pretty much a nice fucking guy. But he's getting called out, tore apart, because he does not like this. He does not like this. And you have these bigger actors better coming out like, uh, what's, the, what's the comedian, Dane Cook, um, he came out and said something about it, and fuck you, Dan Cook. Fuck you right in the ass. I mean, seriously. You're not funny. You're not funny at all. I mean, what's the last movie you've been in? You you do, what, what is it you do now? Um, voice work? And I know, I'm a fat nerd with maybe 137 subscribers on YouTube. What, you know, I'm not a millionaire. What, what, what you know, what's my opinion? You're Dan Cook. But Dane Cook, go fuck off. Seriously. 
fuck straight off. But anyways, also, you know, whoever wrote the post about being sexist because you don't like Ghostbusters movie trailer, you can fuck off too. Honestly. Why the fuck would you stare at the pot? Make things worse than they need to be. Honestly. Honestly. I, I mean, yeah, we can clickbait, get some extra views on your site, makes a little bit more money, cause more problems, write another shit article for more clickbait. <laughs> it makes me sick. It makes me sick. I don't understand. I don't understand. I, I don't know if these people actually watch the Ghostbusters trailer. Not one, but two trailers. They might be a third one. I don't care, but they're both terrible. Equally terrible. With an awesome cast. Awesome cast. And people are being, you know, called sexist because they don't like it. The movie looks terrible. It's not because it's a female cast. I mean, they might be a, some people it's like that. But that's not all of them. Look at Call of Duty. Call of, are you going to say that, you know, it's the most hated, the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is the most hated game trailer on YouTube. Am I, am I some kind of, like, sexist or something? Am I sexist against robots or spacemen? Is that why I hate that trailer so much? Is that why Call of Duty Infinite Warfare looks like a dog, like a pile of dog shit? The only interesting thing about that game is the fact that it has a Call of Duty Modern Warfare remaster. It's the only reason I'll be buying that game. I mean, yeah, I'll play the single player portion, but the last few Call of Duties, it's all like going up like space, 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 robots. We got Destiny for that. We got Halo for that. And a lot of people are just hating the same formula. And that's why Battlefield 1 looks so attractive right now, because it's going away from that. It's doing something new. And I just don't understand. It's like, can you explain that? Is there a reason why people hate the Call of Duty trailer the same way they hate the Ghostbusters trailer? What if they went ahead and released another trailer for another Ghostbusters movie with a whole male cast? And all the people hated it as well. You would not hear one thing about it being sexist. You don't know why? Because it's a cast of male. Cast of males. Like me. Dudes with wieners. Nobody would be called sexist. As a matter of fact, Polygon, Kotaku, Gawker... Whatever it will be, oh, that movie looks like hot garbage. It's going to be terrible. They will not say anything about equality. They will not say anything about gender roles. They will not say anything about that because that is a hot topic, hot button issue that will not get clicks. Because, again, this trailer would be a male cast, not a female cast. We have this, we have this like, it's terrible. It's, what is it, Catch 22? You can't win for losing. But the movie looks like hot garbage. It's terrible. It, it does not look good. You know, I, I could be wrong. We could all go and watch this movie when it comes out, and it might be amazing. And you know what? If it is, that that's great. That's great. But right now, these trailers are not showing, you know, they're not doing a good representation of what we want. I mean, it's not. It, these jokes they showing, they're showing in the trailer aren't remotely funny. And especially with these really great comedians. Kristen Wiig, uh, the chick that played Tammy, and I don't know the other two. I, I, I am so sorry. But, you know, I'm sure they're great. I'm sure they're really awesome. And, you know, I love the movie um, <clears throat> Tammy. I liked Tammy. I liked, uh, well, what was it, The Bridesmaids. That was a good movie. Pretty much anything Kristen Wiig and the chick from Tam. I forgot what. I cannot remember her name. And you know, the funny thing is, I'm going to hop in my car later, and it's just going to hit me. I'm like, oh, that's, that's, that's her name. But no, these are really talented people. And, you know, I feel bad for them because, you know, I want it to be a good movie. I really do. I want, it, I want people to like it. And there's some people that do. But if this is a good movie, that's a good thing. But what I'm afraid of is when the movie comes out 
and people decide to review it, if they get bad reviews for the movie, these outlets are going to get blamed for sexist, sexism. That's what's going to happen, I guarantee you. It's just going to happen. You'll read something. IGN gives Ghostbusters a 2 out of 10. Completely sexist. These people should not be allowed to review movies. It's really sad. It really is. And I, and I do apologize, but I you know, jumbled up all my words. Um, as if you guys watched the last video, I did talk about um, my medicine. I have not been on my medicine for days. Um, I'm trying to, I'm working to get insurance so I can afford it right now. And I like some anxiety, depression. It's a real thing and it sucks. And I, I do apologize. I just had to vent a little bit. And <laughs> I do apologize too. It's like, I feel, I do feel terrible. I, do, I don't mean, I don't hate these people that I called out. And, you know, women, like I said, women, everybody needs to just, do the right thing. Stop arguing. Stop hating each other. Stop making things about sex. We all live in the same world together. We all need to get along. And, you know, I'm not fucking Gandhi. I'm not. I'm not. And, you know, my words will probably only be seen by a few people. But... The few people that do see this, I want you to know, I just want you to know that things will get better, hopefully. Maybe eventually people will see past all this stuff and just, I don't know. I just want things to get better for all these communities. We have enough hate in this world. We don't need to be fighting each other. Fighting each other. I just don't think it's fair. <laughs> and I'm sorry, it's kind of, it does sound really sappy now that I, you know, I'm sitting here talking about it for 18 minutes. It really does. It really does. But like I said, I, I, I just want things to get better. And, you know, I, I, I could just be preaching to the choir at this point. But guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Thank you for listening to me vent. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, I, you know, I apologize. And I appreciate all the support that you guys gave me so far. And I'll be with you guys as long as I can. Um, I'm, oh, I'll have some new content out this coming week. Um, and once I get the medicine, things will get a little better. I, I'm actually... Uh, if you see me on Twitter, you may see some things that I've been talking about. Um, I won't bring it up right now because it's kind of a sore spot. But things aren't really going the way I planned. Um, and it sucks. It really does. I'm still working really, really hard with the YouTube channel. Uh, with the bits and pieces business, I split it off to have a way to make income to help you know, help with me as well as try to get the business up and running. I really want this thing to work. Um, I turned 29 in just a f just an hour. I'll, well, by the time you guys watch this, it'll be May 22nd, and I will be a year older. I feel like it. I really do. I feel like I'm a girl. I feel like an old man for some reason. But, guys, I just want you to know... Um, I really mean everything I say. I, I don't mean to hate. I don't mean to go off and be, sound like a complete asshole. And I'm sure I did. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything you guys have done for me. Um, and be sure to hit a like and subscribe. And Dane Cook, if you ever watch this video, <laughs> I, I apologize. I, I don't mean. I didn't mean to be a dick. And if you want to call me a fat, neck, beard, dick face, that's cool. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for checking us out. Again, my name is Panso6, and be sure to hit like and subscribe. And I love you guys a lot. And I mean it. I really do. What can I say? I'm a fat guy with a big heart, and I got a heart on for you. 
that kind of sounded sounded kind of nasty. All right, before I embarrass myself anymore, you guys have a great day.